You guys are not gonna believe what I just heard in the bathroom. Bailey, we told you. No one cares if Miss Johnson's toilet tubes sound like a Lana Del Rey song. No! I overheard Megan and Kaylee talking about how they heard Connor tell Xavier that he heard that Jaden Saunders is crushing on Lizzie! <gasps> Jaden Sanders is hot, dangerous, and has a 4.0. He's a triple threat. There's no way he likes Lizzie. Knock it off, Brooklyn. I actually agree with her. I mean, what would a nerd stud like Jaden Saunders see in a weirdo like me? Hey, Lizzie. Do you want to come over and hang out after school? <laughs> Great. See ya. I can't. I just can't. We've got to get you ready. Which do you like better? Blue crop top, high-waisted shorts with a hint of orange? Or skater skirt, purple creepers, and some yellow shade? Hmm, can I see something a little more green? Uh, what? Me or my outfit? Hey, you look great! Come on in. There's something I want to show you. You'll love it. Close your eyes. Okay? Open! It's a femur. An iguanodon femur. Oh, cool. So do you want to watch TV or something? Hey, check out my two-headed turtle. What? Uh, oh, you cute. Hey, maybe we could go get some Froyo. Sure, I'll get my jacket. Okay, let's go. Hey, this is weird. You only like me because I'm a lizard. <laughs> no way. Is that all you see when you look at me? I'm a girl too, you know. I know, you're both. That's why you're perfect. I don't want to be another specimen in your collection. <laughs> That's not what I want at all. You know, I feel like we've really gotten off on the wrong foot here. I think I should leave. No, no, just get to know me. I swear, this isn't just a lizard thing. Really? Then what is that? Oh, that. You want to put me in a case? How am I supposed to live in there? It's not what you think. It has air holes. Gee, thanks. What else you got for me? A bowl of water to splash around in? <laughs> no. Peace out, croc hunter. Hey, Lizzie. Heard about your disaster date. I guess he didn't like you, huh? Please give me another shot. You're the most beautiful girl in the world. Here, I even got these for you. They're chocolate-covered ants. <laughs> Sorry, Jaden. I just don't think we're really right for each other. But hang on, I've got something for you. This fell off last week when I got startled watching the Vampire Diaries. I want you to have it. I'll cherish this for the rest of my days. <laughs> this will be the jewel of my collection. <laughs> I super can't! So you're gonna eat the chocolate covered ants? Gross chocolate. So hungry. All I ate for breakfast was like two spiders and a grasshopper. Hey, you Princess Poofy Cheeks. Dad, what are you doing here? Well. Oh, hey, babe. With my modifications, we'll be able to shave four minutes off the spin cycle. You need a job. Babe, I just organized all my circuits and oscillators in alphabetical order. In Targaryen. You need a job. I'm learning to sculpt. Get a job and some pants. I got the feeling your mom wanted to get me out of the house. So, here I am. Now, what can I get you in your fresh posse of super rad hip chicklets? Can I see you guys in the hall for a minute, please? 
I can't have my dad work at school. We've got to find a way to get rid of him. I got it! We could open our own competing cafeteria and offer everything for a dollar cheaper. If we gradually sold his customers, we could put his cafeteria out of business in 16 to 24 months! Maybe it won't be so bad. No, she needs to go. Listen up, I've got a plan. That's perfect! <laughs> They'll have to fire him. I still want to talk about my cafeteria concept. It's called Trey Delicious. Da, 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 da. Just gonna eat my lunch. Like normal. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, poison! Oh, sweet Bobby Flay, it's like Christmas in my mouth. Wow! I've never had meatloaf like this. Do I detect oaky notes with a smoky finish? What are you guys doing? Stick to the plan! Lizzie, you gotta try this. No! Got some go! Mm, this is fantastic. The flank steak mm. is perfectly mm. cooked. Oh, locally sourced makes mm. all the difference. Is this a bone marrow bernese? Hashtag gluten free. I can't believe it. My social life is dead. Since when does my dad know how to cook? Just try it, Lizzie. Mm. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese. Lizzie, your father has reached a state of culinary transcendence. Oh, Principal Jenkins. Thanks, I think. We want the chef! We want the chef! We want the chef! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone. Now, back to the kitchen to create. <laughs> Oh, can't believe I forgot to wear my pants to school. Hey, wait a minute. Am I dreaming? No, Dad, but it's a nightmare for me. Um, you, sir, are fired. Indubitably. <laughs> that sucks. Well, that was fun while it lasted. I'll wait for you in the car. Hey, Dad. I gotta admit your food was pretty amazing. If you were unchopped... You totally would have made it to the dessert round. Hey, thanks, Mayor Munchkin Nose. I'm gonna miss that guy. <laughs> job today, while some of you were less successful. And unfortunately, one of you is going home. And the person getting the axe is... Lizzie. What? Me? There must be a mistake. Please hand over your pom-poms and go. Hmm. I don't know why you wanted to join the cheerleading squad in the first place. You don't even like those girls. Well, yeah, no one does. We've lost our last eight games because they are so boring. You're right. Last week, Del Yarborough fell asleep while he was shooting a free throw. You're really better off having no part of it. Well, it's not me I'm worried about. It's the fans I feel bad for. They deserve a real show. And you're the one to give it to them? You know what? I just might be. 
Um, where are you going? Go Raptors! Go, go, go Raptors! Go. Woo! Go. <coughs> this is pathetic, you guys. Watch and learn. What, what? <laughs> That's how you electrify a crowd, ladies. Uh, they aren't cheering for you, they're cheering for her. Oh! Hey! Oh my god, she actually did it! Is she wearing a suit of herself? <laughs> Redundant much? <laughs> Ignore her, and maybe she'll just go away. <laughs> I don't know why, but that big old lizard made me fall in love with the game all over again. She makes me feel like I can jump a foot higher! I am not looking at you. I can stand here all day! <laughs> Smells in here. The only thing I smell is sports entertainment. Head. Sorry, Bastion. I didn't mean to. We can tape it up before we play at Brooklyn's birthday party tonight. No need, guys. I got you covered. You guys need to focus on the music and becoming rock royalty. Oh my god, where'd you get that? Don't worry about it. I used the leftover money from my egg sandwich Kickstarter. Let me be your manager. I'll do a great job, and we'll all just be stinking rich as heck. Well, thanks, Bailey, but the minor scales is not about making tons of money. This is about integrity. Take the drum head back. No way! I freaking love it! Lizzie, you gotta finish that book report. Time for your friends to go. But Mom, we're playing at Brooklyn's birthday tonight. Sorry, no book report, no show. I warned you this would happen. But Mom! This conversation's over. Too bad, guys. I thought you sounded righteous. <laughs> Forget that noise. Lizzie, where's that skin you shed last night? Probably in the garbage can. We just need someone to wear this, hang out with your parents, and do your book report while we go to the show. Okay, but you've got to wear it. Me? We don't have time to find someone else. Ugh, no way. You want to be our manager, right? Hmm, not bad. I might pull this off. You talking to me? I don't see any other lizards here. Okay, let's see what book we're reading. Anna Karenina. <laughs> okay, that was depressing. Lizzie, your dinner's on the table. What a grand idea. I've been craving borscht for some reason. Here's yours, pumpkin. Bon appetit. Good pizza. Lizzie, hurry up and eat those crickets before they jump on our pizza. I'm not that hungry for worms and crickets, Mom. Can I have some of that pizza? But you hate pizza, Lizzie. Oh, right. I guess I'm really not hungry after all. The girl's not herself tonight. Mm. Finally! Now to hit save. Lizzie, I just wanted to say I am really proud of you and your band. 
I love how you combine an indie rock aesthetic with elements of post-punk and even grindcore. Is that what they do? You inspired me to share with you some of my more obscure vinyl treasures. Um, Dad. Today's lesson, Norwegian black metal. I've got some Vondor, Burzum, Carpathian Forest. Uh, no, 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 it's fine. But first, let's come correct with a little Gorgoroth. <laughs> that show was epic. They loved us. Bailey, you missed it. Here's your book report. Look, Bailey, we know you really wanted to go, and we appreciate you staying here so we could do it. You don't know what I've been through. Uh, yeah, I do. They're my parents. Listen, we've been thinking, and we want you to be our manager. Really? You'll do anything I say? Anything, I promise. That's good to hear. I have a radical new direction for the minor scales. Let's hear it. Norwegian Black Metal! <laughs> For my next trick, the tongue game challenge. I'm right with your fingers, tongue goes up, pop, pop. If my saliva gets on you, the wetness won't come up. Ba, 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 Oh my god, she's like so amazing. She's delicious. Attention, students! It is my great honor to introduce to you our new student, Prina. She and her family have moved here recently from India. Oh. How do you say your name? Prina. Oh. Wow, she said her name. Do you eat Indian food? Yes. My family and I got takeout from the curry hut at the food court last night. So oh. exotic, you guys. Hey, do they eat bugs in your country? <gasps> Lizzie, that is a preposterous and insulting query. But I eat bu Not at all, Principal Monroe. In many of our villages, insects are considered a delicacy. Ew. I beg your pardon, Brina. I think it's nasty, though. Oh, oh so yeah. What's so special about her? She moved. So what? It takes, what, one day to move? I'm bringing the lizard every day. Sounds like someone's a little green with envy. She is half lizard. Who does she think she is? Being different is my thing. Lizzie, are you okay? You've been in the bathroom an awful long time. I'll be done soon, Mom. Okay. By the way, have you seen my potato masher? No, Mom. Haven't seen it. I also can't find all those organic beets I got at the gourmet market. It's a mystery! <laughs> Sup, guys? Like my new look? Is that a tattoo? My parents won't even let me wear nail polish. I guess I'm just a freak. Does anyone else smell beets? Okay, class, find your lab partner and turn to page 471. Dare me to pull that chain over there? I don't think you're supposed to. That's what'll make it fun. Lizzie's gonna pull the chain. Lizzie's gonna pull the chain. Let's see what's so dangerous about this chain. Did everyone know that was a shower? Mm -hmm. What are you in for? Well... Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait! <gasps> Please, stop following me. Student in the faculty room! Love to see them freak out. <laughs> it was rather funny. Sorry I've been such a jerk, Prina. I guess I didn't like someone else being more unique than I am. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's like a billion people from India. But there's only one lizard girl. 
Oh, please. Go on. I am going to be so rich. Doing what? Babysitting Mrs. Reed's one-year-old. Well, you better not screw it up. What are you talking about? It's just one kid. Think about it. Something goes wrong tonight and the whole neighborhood knows Lizzie can't be trusted. And the only thing crazier than a one-year-old is a one-year-old's mother. And don't let baby Zachary crawl on the rug. He's allergic to wool. It makes his tongue sweat. And please help yourself to anything in the fridge that's on the bottom shelf. The top shelf is for baby Zachary. Ooh, He's lactose intolerant oh, on a strict baby paleo diet. Blah. Got it. Bottom shelf, no milk, hardwoods only. <laughs> Great. Now I'm going to be checking in periodically with this little munchkin baby tracker app. <laughs> we installed a microchip in baby Zachary's little tuckus. Ooh. So his whereabouts can be monitored at all times. There you are, baby Zachary. I see you peekaboo. Don't worry. I'll keep a close eye on him. And I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Hi, Zachary. Do you want to play? <laughs> hey, get down from there. <laughs> oh, look. My little Hemingway must be reading. I, 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 I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mister, no more climbing things. <laughs> oh, where are you going now? <laughs> what are you doing under there? <laughs> come on, want to come out from under the couch? I'll let you climb the bookcase. <laughs> Sophie, he's been stuck under the couch for two hours. I will never get another babysitting job if that lady comes home and finds out I've turned her child into a couch troll. Have you tried luring him out with food? Yeah, and he won't budge, not even for his bison jerky. Uh, yeah, why don't you try something like cookies? Hi, Zachary. Do you want a cookie? <laughs> That's it. Grab the cookie. Ew, that can't be good for the diet. Safe and sound on the sofa. I hope he's not watching cartoons. Okay, you think, Lizzie, think. <gasps> My tail! Come on! Uh, come on! Yes! Home. Where's my angel? <laughs> oh, there's my little chubby poo. I'm assuming he was no trouble. <laughs> Not a bit. He was a real couch potato. You better believe I'm going to be telling all the ladies in my Tiger Moms Collective what a great job you did. But I've got to warn you, they aren't as laid back as I am. 